Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. So let's perhaps take things here just one step further and I will show you how you can teach your child to identify and even to create their own symmetry. But we'll start out right here with identifying symmetry and we're going to do that using uh, the activity cards that I've previously showed you. So um, let's start with this one right here called the airplane. And, but I guess even before we do that, uh, it's probably a good idea for me to, to, uh, to remind you of just what is symmetry? What are we looking for here? And of course, the adult definition is, it's the correspondence of, uh, in all of the attributes of parts that are on opposite sides of a dividing line or a center. So that's our working definition. And as I said in an earlier lesson, uh, you could say that to your child, but they really won't understand it till you start doing it. So let's, uh, let's do some right here. And, and you can show them how to uh, find these lines of symmetry and determine if a design is symmetrical or not. So like I said, we'll start out with this airplane here. And you might want to get the ball rolling by just saying, well, I know this is symmetrical. And you know, if you have a very bright child, they may be able to see it right off the bat too. But if not, you could say, I know this is symmetrical and I'm going to prove it to you by using this ruler on edge as the line of symmetry. And you could do that and you could say, well, is this side the same as this side? Are they just, are, are they uh, perfect reflections of each other? Are they the same? And of course, your child is going to look and almost certainly say, well, yes. Yes, uh, they are the same, so this design is symmetrical. Let's look at another one here. And of course now you, maybe you could let your child take over and handle the, the ruler and, and ask them, well, is this symmetrical? And they might say yes, or they might need to put the, the ruler right on it there and look at it, and of course once you do that, it's pretty obvious that this side is in fact a mirror image of this, it's the same. So yes, this is a symmetrical design. Let's see, let's keep going here. All right, let's try this one, the TP. And by this time your child may be really getting it and may not even need um, the dividing line, which of course is the ruler, but uh, um, she'll say, yes, this is symmetrical, and she'll prove it by uh, doing this. Is this side the same as this? Yes, it is. It's a reflection uh, of, of that. So they're both equal. The, the design is symmetrical. And let's see, might as well do one more. Butterfly. Uh, yes, that's obviously symmetrical put the ruler on and, and see that very obviously that's symmetrical. And of course you want to mix some asymmetrical ones in there too and I'll show you those right now. Um, remember we started with the grapes here. Well, no matter where you put this line of symmetry which is your ruler as you can see, those certainly aren't the same. Those certainly aren't the same. They're different and there's no symmetry in uh, this particular design. How about this turtle here? Let's see, let's try it this way. Is the top the same as the bottom? No, you can clearly see that it isn't. There's some legs down here and the 
more head up here than down here. So even this way, no, no way. There's a head over here, there's a tail over here. So like I said, mix these in so uh, your child doesn't know what's coming, so they really have to know. And of course, you know, they can guess and they might guess right, but make them show you the symmetry or the non-symmetry with uh, the so-called dividing line, the ruler. Obviously, I'm not even going to put the ruler on this. This car is in no way symmetrical. And here's an interesting one, the basketball player, because, you know, it's pretty close to being symmetrical. Let's put the uh, dividing line on. And uh, almost, but look, the arms are different. The legs are good, the head, the body, torso, but then the arms are a little different. And of course, this arm has a basketball in. So is this a symmetrical design? No. So there's a, a few ways, uh, uh, there's a way that uh, you can work with uh, these um, pattern block cards to show your child uh, how to identify symmetry or asymmetry. And now let me show you a good way to introduce your child uh, to uh, learn how to make their own symmetrical designs. This is a good first step here. And as you can see, um, I have a sheet of copy paper and I made a dividing line uh, into halves with a marker. And I suppose you could use it this way if you want it also. I'm gonna use it this way. And uh, you could start out by just doing something like this. Let's see, you could place, um, a block, and as you can see, I'm taking great pains to paste the block so half is on this side and half is on this side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you do this, you already do not have a symmetrical design. So you can put it right on the, the center there, and, and then uh, anything goes. You can start building off it, and here's how you do it. If you put this there, then you have to do the same thing on this side. That's the rule for working with this sheet. And there you go. And it might even be fun for your child to do this together where you place one, she places one, you place one, she places one. Um, that might be a good way to start this. So let's see. And then you place one there and your child's gonna look at that and say, well, if one goes over there, then if you want it to be symmetrical, then one's going to have to go over here, and uh, on and on and on. Let's maybe do one more here. Let's say you put one there. So your child will have to put one here. So as you can see, uh, using one of these sheets, it makes it a little easier to begin to build a symmetrical uh, construction. And of course, uh, you can also work with it in this way you can uh, place things, start out by placing things, this on one side and the other on the edge, and work that way too. I mean, it's completely, completely up, to, up to you. I mean, in fact, you should probably work with both ways with your child, because sometimes the symmetry line can run right through the middle of something, or sometimes it can run along an edge between two, uh, two symmetrical sides. So I'm not going to go too far here. I'm sure you can see, see what I'm getting at. If you put one there, you must put one there, right? Uh, on and on and on. If you put one, and it doesn't matter if you start over on this side. If you put one there, then of course you have to put one there. So now let's bring in this sheet that, uh, that shows four-way symmetry. And as you can see, um, there's a main line of symmetry there, and then a little bit lighter one. So we have four equal areas here. And let me see, how, how will I do this one? Let's do this. There we go. That's a good start, huh? And let's see what else we could do here. We could put A green one and of course now instead of uh, matching it on another side you're going to match it on three more sides and of course that's a fine distinction there isn't it so there we go 
And uh, already we're running into some complications here because you, as you can see, this top has a different shape than this. Don't worry too much about that. Um, you know, you don't have to put four down of everything, but you can still get four-way symmetry, and I'll show you. Okay, if we put one there, we've got to put one there, right? Yeah, still symmetrical on both axes, without a doubt. Uh, let's keep going here a little bit. All right, if I put one there, I have to put one there. I have to put one there, and I have to put one there, right? Still symmetrical? Absolutely. Um, this part up here is the same down here. This part here is the same there. So we've got a nice symmetrical design going. Of course, we could keep going and, and going and going with this, but you get the idea. So now uh, the point I'm trying to make here is you can switch from the one axis of symmetry to two axes of symmetry.